A keen interest of some fruit lovers with very little land space around their home is how quickly can they get two of their favorite avocado varieties or cultivars bearing on a single tree that was grafted as a young avocado seedling, while some rootstocks such as mango will successfully produce multiple varieties or cultivars that are grafted on it, others like avocado usually have only one variety grafted on them unless the tree was top worked after a year or more after planting. It is not a common practice to graft very young avocado seedlings with more than one variety as success can sometimes be difficult to achieve. Hi, Raymond here from Best Fruits in Jamaica where I post videos on methods to improve the production of various locally grown crops. If you are watching my video for the first time and find it beneficial in any way, then please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. In this video, I will outline a possible method of how to get a young avocado seedling to successfully grow and support a double graft. I invite you to follow all the instructions outlined and I guarantee that sometime after watching this video, you will be able to perform this task just like me. The grafting method that I will be using is cheap bud grafting. If you have not used this method before and would like to use it to do this double graft, then I am suggesting that you first watch my video entitled Avocado Cheap Bud Grafting. That video covers all the basic instructions required for doing cheap bud grafting. You will find the link to it below. This method was chosen for the double graft as there is less demand on the rootstock for nutrients and water to grow out two individual single buds rather than using a method such as one that would require growing out multiple buds from two pieces of apical merry stems. Cheap bud grafting is a common method used for asexual propagation in plants to produce named cultivars or clones of many fruit trees. A bud from a cyan on a thin strip of wood complete with bark is inserted in a matching notch on the rootstock to make a new plant. For this grafting session, we must have the following. 1. Mature avocado buds for both grafts that are just about to grow out. 2. A suitable sized rootstock which could be dormant or actively growing. 3. A sharp graft in our budding knife. And 4. Proper wrapping material inclusive of grafting tape for protecting the bud. The process of stock and cyan selection are similar to those for the regular methods of avocado grafting which I have extensively covered in my previous avocado videos. However, for this graft, it is important to collect buds that are of similar age and stage of dormancy as this increases the chance that both buds will probably begin growing at approximately the same time. The two points are node where the cheap buds will be placed are carefully chosen and the process begins. Each point should be at least two internode length or two nodes from the node where each bud is to be grafted. The nodes have to be carefully selected so that both are on a different side of the rootstock as this will be important in maintaining the balance or stability of the tree during the growing and bearing stages. A node is the point on the stem from which the leaf and the axillary bud emerge while an internode is the length of the stock or stem space between two nodes. I will continue by cutting a notch on the first designated node on the stock for the first bud. My preference on the stock is to graph onto a node or across two internodes ensuring each chip bud is placed exactly over the point where the petiole or leaf stock was attached. My reasons for choosing these points are that there is an already established active cambium or conducting vessels of the plants at those locations that were feeding the leaves and sometimes auxiliary buds. Thus, the union of both buds and stock should be much easier to accomplish at those locations. 
the first chipboard is next removed and grafted onto the first notch. I usually graft the second chipboard at the second node either above or directly below the first graft. In this way, the natural architectural orientation of the shoots are maintained. The second chipboard is next removed and grafted onto the second notch. A small 4 inch by 8 inch or 7.6 cm by 18.7 cm plastic bag, usually a recycled one that was opened by cutting the seal to the bottom and one of the sides is then used to wrap around the grafted chipboards, preferably two to three times, forming an enclosed space for both grafts surrounding the budded area of the stock with an approximate diameter of about 1 inch or 2.5 centimeter. The top of the wrapped plastic is securely tied with a piece of half inch grafting tape to prevent any moisture and humidity loss from the top, however, the bottom is loosely tied to accommodate some heat loss out of the enclosed space on extremely hot days. All visible apical, auxiliary and adventitious buds from the rootstock are removed as is required to promote growth of the grafted buds. If any are allowed to establish from the stock, it will result in those buds immediately becoming the aggressive buds which, if allowed, will compete with the grafted buds which could eventually end in starvation of the chip buds and possibly the death of one or both. The grafted stock is then placed in a cool area, preferably under a tree or in a nursery. It is normally watered immediately after grafting and a watering schedule of three times per week must be maintained until the buds have started to grow. The grafted plants are therefore monitored at least once per week with any signs of undesired bud growth from the stock removed. Normally the grafted buds will start growing by the fifth or sixth week. However, on most occasions, both buds will not grow out at exactly the same time as a result of their unusual slight differences in age and stage of dormancy at grafting. Although the first to grow out will sometimes have to wait for one to two weeks for the other bud to grow to a stage where it can survive after the removal of the protective plastic. After the plastic is removed, the growth of both buds have to be carefully monitored as oftentimes there are an even growth of the buds with the upper bud usually outgrowing the lower bud. But on very rare occasions, you could sometimes find the lower bud growing at a faster rate than the upper bud at the early stages of growth. If not corrected at an early age, this could even result in death of the smaller bud the leaves above and below the grafted buds are left in place to ensure that sap movement from the root to the top of the plant is continued as this will also promote photosynthesis thus providing food for the grafted buds to grow. The grafts do not always grow uniformly as we sometimes find an even shoot growth among the grafts. This is usually the result of different growth rate of the varieties that are grafted and also, if the grafts are too close to each other, this will cause the upper one to exert apical dominance over the lower one, thus preventing it from growing. For such situations, corrective measures such as pruning or removing the apical section of the more aggressive bud has to be done. This act will immediately cause the pruned bud to go into shock and stop growing. It will take approximately 2-3 to three weeks for the pruned bud to recover, during which time the stunted bud will recover from the condition, thereby improving the growth rate and eventually achieve one at which both buds can grow at a tolerable rate with each other. Normally, when the chip buds have grown to a length of approximately 2-4 to four inches or 5-10 to 10 centimeter, the leaves from the stalk can then be removed. At this point, most of the vascular material are being transported to the grafted buds. We should continue to monitor the graft and remove all new buds growing directly from the stock. 
because there are two buds that are actively growing, there is an extremely large demand for nutrients and water to grow the buds. For a double graph, it is usually normal to find that the food that was stored in the cotyledons is completely exhausted within four to six weeks after the buds grew out. This often results in an early fertilizer program for the plant, a consisting of a light dressing of 111 NPK mixture as early as two to three weeks after the buds grew out. This procedure should be repeated every month until both grafts are growing at almost the same rate. Some time after the start of the fertilizer program, staking is done in an effort to promote tree training inclusive of promoting the best branching habits and structural support to strengthen the growing chip buds. I usually allow the upper portion of the stock to remain as long as it is green. However, after it starts showing signs of dying, it can then be removed. The grafting tape is first removed, followed by cutting it at a point leaving about a quarter inch or six millimeter above the upper portion of the grafted chip bud. Some pruning seal, preferably wax, can be used to cover over the cut to prevent fungal infestation or it can be left as is. As a precautionary measure, it is always a good practice to use the removed grafting tape to make a single tie of the points below and above the growing bud to the stock. This normally prevents any strain or separation of the grafted bud to the stock as a result of any unusually strong windy condition or poor handling. The grafted plant should be continually monitored for uneven growth with corrective measures implemented such as removal of any buds that might emerge from the stock for the next six to eight weeks. After unwanted buds have stopped appearing on the stock, in addition, to both grafted buds growing at a rate that will not significantly retard the other graft growth rate, which could be evidence that the stock has accepted both grafted buds. The budded plant can then be planted in the field or sold. If you have received any benefits from this video, then please subscribe to the channel and like the video if you have not done so before. Leave a comment, share the video with your friends who have similar interests in this area and click on the notification bell so you will be informed when another video is posted as my next video could be much more enlightening than this one. Thank you for watching. Until the next time, take care of yourself, others and please don't forget me.